Hey, welcome back, everyone. How you doing? Hopefully, everyone having a good Saturday or Saturday evening, or depending where you are in the country or where you are in the uh, the world. A nice Saturday night. <clears throat> okay, so depending when you see this video, the whole purpose of this video is going to be for me to talk about a couple of things that people on Facebook forums been asking me about and uh, it's just the, the questions been out there floating around you know but I never really wanted to answer this question because I didn't really want to get into it uh, because that's not what my channel is really is about my channel is really about the technical aspect my channel is not about other youtubers or uh, other aspect of the YouTube business and how it works but what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm going to try to explain to you uh, the difference between a couple of things and how the YouTube business works and uh, how are some people able to close in into that deal and how they're able to push forward and, and make their channel grow even bigger. So I'm going to explain a couple of things here and hopefully this will be a learning curve for you. And for those of you who probably are new to YouTube and don't understand how this actually works, I'm going to try to explain this to you. Uh, the reason I know how all of this works is because I've been approached by various different companies, okay? Uh, and I turned them down, but I'll explain why and, and everything. So, first thing first, I'm just using my uh, projector here just to go through some of the YouTube channels. Uh, remember, I'm not going after anybody here okay i'm not trying to point finger at anyone or any particular person or anything like that i'm not that's not my uh reason for doing this video i'm not going after anybody i'm not a drama queen i don't do that i understand people got to make a living you got to feed yourself you have to support yourself you got to do what you got to do i'm not here to judge anyone okay i get it i understand it you got to survive either you survive or you die on the street that's it it's that simple Okay, I get it. It's a life, survival of the fittest. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to explain uh, how it works. So that way you don't get confused on how is it possible that this person's getting all of these equipment and it's doing this and these equipments are like ridiculously expensive. Is it really possible that this person it's buying all of this by, by himself and, and it's doing all of this by himself? Uh, Here's the deal. Granted, yes, there are some people out there that they're uh, filthy rich, they're, uh, they're wealthy, they're making you know, 10 million, 20 million a year, and they're doing it as a hobby and some extra money on the side. So yeah, you'll see that. There's a percentage of that on YouTube because YouTube, it's a global, gigantic uh, melting pot of everything, okay? So it's a multi-trillion dollar company, Google Corporation, YouTube, started in uh youtube started in 2005 their net worth they're probably going to sell you like something in the 20 billion or whatever but their total global net worth it's probably hitting trillion trillions of dollars but they're not going to show you that obviously and this video probably will not be uh uh acceptable for a majority of audiences but that's okay i get it i understand it they have to protect their corporation they don't want me saying this but i'm not going to make many I'm not going to make any money off of this video. This video will not be monetized. I'm just doing this video to explain something to you so that way you understand. Uh, and as the title says on my video, we'll talk about the difference between uh, YouTubers who are sponsored versus YouTubers who are not sponsored. And that's what this video really is going to be about. It's going to be about that. YouTubers like myself who are not sponsored versus the YouTuber who is sponsored. Okay, so let's start with first with YouTuber like me, which are many. There are many out there, thank God. There are many out there like me that are not sponsored. Uh, and then we'll talk about the difference with the ones that are sponsored. Okay, as you all know, I'm not sponsored. Even though I do monetize, I do make money off of this. So I do get some kickback money. It's not a huge deal of money, okay? It's a monthly 
payment that I get, but it's not like a big, big, big money. Okay, it's less than a thousand. Okay, if you want to know, it's really not that big. Okay, it's like maybe four hundred, five hundred a month, sometimes three hundred a month. So it's not really that big. Okay, so I'm not making like a truckload of money off of this channel. In order for me to do that, I would have to reach a quarter of a million subscribers, and I would have to reach. Uh, 10 million views a month or something like that to really hit like 3,000, 4,000, maybe even 5,000 a month or 10,000 a month. All right, so that's based on the viewership and based on the kind of agreement you made with your partner, okay? So let's talk about someone who is not sponsored like me. All right, number one, everything you see in my videos, it's bought by my own hard-earned cash. I do have a full-time job. I'm not dependent on this. So everything you see, everything I do, it's bought by my own hard-earned cash. And the reason I said it like this, so that way it echoes and you understand that everything you see that I have, all of my products, they're all mine. I bought them. Meaning, nobody sponsored me. Nobody gave me these products, okay? That, that should be clear enough. And that is a huge difference, which I will talk about. Well, I will get to that in a minute, all right? And that's a huge beneficial to you guys to watch someone who is not being sponsored versus someone who is being sponsored because I have bought all of these products myself and... Uh, <laughs> I review them, I look at them, and I give you guys my own honest opinions and thoughts on these products, okay? And I tell you exactly what I'm experiencing, okay? But sometimes doing it that way could be costly because you're spending more money and you're earning less money by doing those videos because you're not getting enough views, okay? And that can be also not beneficial to a content creator because you are kind of, I'm sacrificing my own money to give you guys my own honest opinions and thoughts on it, okay? And uh, that's beneficial to you, to a regular Joe and Mary who would like to hear an honest, unbiased view on the product. And that's what you're going to get with somebody who is not sponsored however sad truth is people who are not sponsored they cannot pump out that many videos because they don't have enough money to do so they can't be buying all of these products because they don't have the money to do so all right and that's that's the the sad part about uh the youtube community is there are people out there who are not sponsored but usually they can continue it's because they don't have enough you know, cash to support the channel because they're not getting enough views. They're not getting enough people watching. So they can't be buying all of these products. It's costing them more than what they're making. All right. Now, let's jump into a sponsored YouTubers. Now we're going to talk about YouTubers who are sponsored. And remember, I'm not going after any anybody here. I'm not pointing finger at anyone. I get it. You got to make money. You got to feed your belly. It's a survival of the fittest. It's, it's a very harsh world out there. It's a very mean, harsh world out there. I get it. You got to survive. You got to make money. You got to do what you got to do. I'm not here to judge you. Just keep that in mind. Now, the difference is when you are sponsored, there are certain disclosed agreements you have to sign. And I know this. I know it. Because I've been approached many times. I still get approached. Uh, I just check my email boxes. People have been calling me from all over the country. From California, from LA, from here, from there. Everywhere. Even from Canada, I've been called. All right. So, I know what it details in order for you to be sponsored. There are certain disclosed agreements you have to sign. And there are certain protocols you have to go through. And there is a certain protocol of video they want you to make of that product. It has to be short. Uh, it cannot be longer than maybe eight to nine minutes. 
possibly seven minutes, but I think maximum it's like nine minutes they will allow you to go. That's like the, the, the maximum limit. It has to be very short. The video has to be shot with a certain type of camera in a certain kind of environment. And uh, it has to be edited in a certain way. Also, you really can't say too much negativity about the product. Uh, they will review that video. Before you can actually upload the video, sometimes you have to uh, contact them and they have to look at the video and then they have to approve it depending on what type of uh, agreement you sign with a sponsor. Okay. Uh, sometimes they'll have to review it before you upload it. And then once they get the copy of the video and they see it and say, okay, green light it, send it, then you'll be able to upload it. Again, depends what type of agreement did you sign with the, with the sponsor. But the point I'm trying to make is these sponsors, they will send you a product. Whatever the product is, it could be a $3,000 product, $4,000 product. Uh, they will tell you how they want you to do this video. There are certain protocols because you signed the agreement with that. If you don't, actually, they can put a lawsuit on you uh, and they can shut down your channel. So you really got to be careful when you're sponsored. There's a certain protocol, meaning what I'm trying to say is you have strings attached to you and you're not free to talk about uh, the way you want to talk about it. All right. So. There's definitely a um, downside to that, all right, by uh, having a sponsor. And this is the main reason why I refuse to have a sponsor. Yes, it would have saved me a lot of money. I mean, I wouldn't have to go and buy all these products. I, I probably could have gotten this BenQ for free. To review it and then if they like the view if they like the review if the view if the video gets a lot of views uh if they're happy with the video and it gets a lot of attention they'll probably let me keep it if not i'll probably have to bring it back send it back to them ship it back whatever uh so the sponsors youtubers have that advantage of not using their own money to buy these products because we all know they're freaking expensive okay uh, okay so this is the easiest way for them to kind of caught the attention of uh, somebody who is searching for a product and people are constantly searching around the world for a product. And, you know, and if they see that every week you got a, a brand new product that you're going to review, uh, they'll go click on that and that's, that's going to generate the views. Okay. But, Remember, you're not getting... Here, here's the downside. That person, it's not going to be honest with you. He's going to tell you exactly what's inside a product for five minutes and what product can do. And then if you guys like this video, make sure you click subscribe and blah, 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 blah. And then hopefully the, uh, the sponsor is happy. And if they're happy and there's many views, they'll let him keep that product. They might even send him another one to do another review. Okay, you can have multiple sponsors, as a matter of fact, uh, and do that. And a lot of YouTubers, uh, it's about 98%, man. It's, it's a huge, gigantic uh, sponsorship of YouTubers out there that are doing this. Okay, all these trending YouTubers you see, again, I don't want to name any names. You guys know who I'm talking about. I mean, it's really not that difficult for you to find out who these people are and what they do. Again, I'm not naming any names. I'm not going after anybody here. I'm just telling you. This is how it works. And one negative about watching somebody who is sponsored is the fact that that person will not be honest with you. That person will not talk honestly about what he's experiencing with this uh, product. He probably, might, he probably might not even like the product, but he'll, he'll have to say all these good things to keep their sponsors happy. Okay. So that's the negative about watching somebody who's a sponsored YouTuber, okay? Somebody who's sponsored, that's one of the problems that you will encounter. Now, I have nothing against Lamar Wilson. I just happen to, you know, randomly, you know, click on him. But he's sponsored, you know, he's big time, big time sponsored, okay? Uh, and God bless him, good for him, you know? 
He's a funny dude. I watch him. As you know, I'm subscribed to him. I do watch him. But he knows he's sponsored. I don't think he hides the fact that he's sponsored. So, you know, that's how he's able to, you know, uh, get all these equipments and whatnot. And that's how he's able to reach the million subscribers. And Plus, he also does something with the commercials and TVs and Hollywood. And he's in L.A., so he got a little bit of that, too. Again, you know, we're talking about people who are sponsored. And again, I'm not going after anybody here. Some of you will probably uh, think of this video as me trying to be jealous. or I'm not jealous. Uh, as I told you, I get approached every day. Uh, I choose not to uh, be sponsored by anybody because I know once I become sponsored, then everything will change. The way the channel is going to change, and you guys not going to like that. Because that's not why you guys subscribe to me in the first place. And you're going to say, well, what happened to this channel? We're not getting this uh, honest views and opinions of this uh, guy we used to know. Now he's pretty much like everybody else. There you're typing, blah, 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 saying all these things he has to say to make the sponsor happy. He's just doing it for the money. Donate money here, be my sponsor, uh, help make my sponsors happy, follow me on Twitter. Also, make sure you donate the money, be a patron, be a good, good, very good patron, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I need money, more money, please. So I'm going to be like a money whore, you know, and I don't want to be a money whore. You know, I would rather not do the, here's the thing, I would rather not do a YouTube channel than to be a money whore YouTube guy. All right, because of my principles, I would rather not do a YouTube channel. I would just simply quit and delete my channel. I would not do it anymore. I would just quit simply altogether and like, uh, fuck you, you uh, YouTube, bye-bye. I would never put myself in that kind of uh, position to be a money whore guy just doing it for the money. I just couldn't live with myself. I would simply delete my channel and that would be it. You would never hear me and see me ever again. I would move on with my life and that's about it. But that's not why I started this channel a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, I started this channel because I really wanted to do something that was unbiased. Even though I knew it was going to cost me money uh, getting all these products, but I, I was willing to sacrifice that. I was willing to experiment that and take that risk to give you guys an honest opinions and thoughts on these products and everything, you know. Because these sponsored YouTubers will not do that for you guys. And that's what I'm trying to tell you here on this uh, video. The sad part about majority of YouTube channels, uh, and majority of YouTube videos is uh, they're sponsored and they're just doing it for the money. Meaning they're not going to be honest with you. They're not going to tell you their unbiased thoughts and views on things. All right. Granted, there are people who are not sponsored. But again, they don't have that many views. They don't have that many subscribers. They got maybe, like me, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. It's okay number. It's not like, uh, it's nothing compared to someone who's making, uh, you know, 100 million views a month or somebody who's got a half a million subscribers or 1 million subscribers or 10 million subscribers or 150,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, and if they're not getting enough cash, if they're not getting enough flow on their YouTube channel, then they're not going to be buying all these products. They're not going to be continuing with their YouTube channel because it's going to cost them a lot of money and it's not going to be worth their time. Uh, again, people have to support themselves. So, there are unsponsored YouTube channels out there, but it's not a big number. It's not a big number, guys. It, it's a small, small, tiny number of YouTubers who are being unsponsored. The majority of YouTubers, the ones you see trending all the times, with, with uh, half a million subscribers to one million, ten million subscribers, these are the ones that, that occupy the YouTube. And these are the ones that are going to pop up first when you're searching for something. When you're searching for a product, these are the ones that are going to pop first. And these are the ones that the people are going to be watching. They're not going to see my video on the BenQ. They're going to find the video about some guy that has, uh, you know, 2 million, 3 million subscribers and he's sponsored. That's the first video that's going to pop. 
when you type in BenQ HD 2550 or when you type in uh, whatever product is that you type in. All right, that's what's going to show up. So hopefully this video, uh, I'm trying to like end this video pretty soon here. It's been 20 minutes. Hopefully this video gives you some uh, ideas on how the YouTube sponsored versus not sponsored works. All right. And I think, I think most of you, probably majority of you already know this. You guys know how this works. Uh, but I really wanted to explain this to some people who really don't understand or don't get how it works. Now you know how it works. It is money. It is about, you know, money. But there are positives and negatives about both being sponsored and not being sponsored. Well, there you have it. Hopefully this explains and, and puts things in perspective on how it works. Uh, it's me, Mr. Forky Upscaler. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I appreciate your support. I don't, you know, beg anybody to subscribe to me. I don't beg anybody to watch my videos. Nor do I uh, ever ask anybody to donate anything for me. Uh, it's a free will. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Uh, just remember, I'm independent. But it also means that at any given time, it's because I'm independent, I can quit my channel at any given time if I choose to do so, depending on how I feel about it. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.